Okay, we've got these two parallel lines. Y equals negative 5x is one of them. Of course, that has a y-intercept of 0 and a slope of negative 5. And the par line parallel to it, negative 5x plus 26 has a y-intercept of 26, which is not visible on this graph. Slope of negative 5. That's why the lines are parallel. And we're asked to find the distance between them. Now here's one way to do it. The distance between two parallel lines is the length of a segment that is perpendicular to both of them. So if we find the equation of this green dashed line along with its point of intersection, with this second line, we can find the distance between those two points. So, what's the line that's perpendicular to y equals negative 5x? Well, it's a line with a slope that's the negative reciprocal, which is 1 fifth. And, of course, we still want it to go through 0, 0, so the y-intercept is 0. And we'd like to find the point of intersection of these two lines which we know is 5, 1 from this graph, but here's how you figure it out. Set them equal to each other. Uh, add 5x to both sides. We get 5 and a fifth or 26 fifths. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 26 fifths. These cancel out, and the x-coordinate of the point of intersection is 5. To find out the, the y-coordinate, Put that 5 in here, 1 fifth of 5 is 1, so there's the point. And then the distance formula for between those two points is the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. 25 plus 1, 26. So there's an exact value for the distance between those parallel lines. And here's a sort of additional proof. If I equation of the circle with center at 0, 0 and a radius of the square root of 26. It hits this line over here and this line is tangent uh, to a the circle. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.